Yeah, you know, there's no doubt about it that you have to be very physically yeah. fit and physically strong to be successful in NASCAR. But you know what? You also have to be mentally tough because sometimes the smallest hiccup can cost you a race. It can cost you your ride. And in those rare instances, yeah. can cost you your life. Yeah. To hear more about Ryan Newman and his story, check out NASCAR.com. Yep, without a doubt. Now, Clara Goodwin is back at the studio. She re rejoins us now for our program. And you know what, Clara? You have a story on somebody that really has learned to be mentally tough. Yeah, Kevin, just imagine this 25 years old competing in the Cup and the Xfinity Series. We're talking about Cody where he's shown he can handle a lot more than just high speeds. Past few years, he's had to fight through some personal struggles. And I had the chance to speak to Cody one on one about the challenges he's faced on and off the track. A lot of people, you know, thought I was pretty crazy to, um, you know, drop out of high school and uh, do all this stuff. As it turns out, it wasn't so crazy for Greensboro native Cody Ware to follow in his family's footsteps and chase his racing dream after all. In his sixth season in the Cup Series, he's making his second trip to Daytona. But his journey there has been anything but easy. I've always dealt with really bad migraines. Not something you want when speeding 200 miles per hour down the track where the threat of a migraine attack is ever present. I did a very bad job at actually remedying that and taking care of it. In a high stress and competitive environment, Cody found his physical road stops stemmed from mental hurdles. Um, I've struggled with anxiety and depression for almost a decade now. When his physical and mental health started to take a toll on his track performance and daily life, Cody knew it was time to make a change. You know, I kind of had to sit down with myself and be like, look, like you're going to not only ruin your career, but also probably just, you know, not have people that uh, that you can rely and count on because you're kind of pushing everybody away. Cody's now gotten to a point where he's taken necessary steps to control his migraines and his mental health is on an upward trend. Now he wants to show people that they're not alone in whatever their struggles may be. You're in a position where you can make an impact on people and you can be an example for people who may have the same struggles. What would you want to say to some of those people who might be able to relate to you but aren't so vocal about what they're going through? Hey, it's okay to need assistance to become the best version of yourself. You know, I've had a couple of suicide attempts in my past, and it's something that I don't look back on with negativity. If you feel good about yourself and you're, you're, you're feeling physically good, mentally good, um, I think that just breeds success. Not just success on the speedway, but success in his everyday life and the lives of everyone he encounters. Driving a race car, it's fun, it's cool, it's my career, but, you know, I want to, I wanna, you know, leave, leave this planet feeling like I did something truly important, which is hopefully saving somebody or, or stopping someone from doing something they shouldn't. From hitting rock bottom to overcoming every obstacle in his way, Cody enters this season behind the wheel with eyes set on victory lane. And Cody says his favorite part about his platform is being able to relate to people who have gone through the same struggles and showing people it's okay to need assistance to become the best version of yourself. And now I'll send it back over to Daytona, Danny.